hey what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we're gonna be installing s experience rom on the galaxy j5 this rom is ported from the galaxy a8 to the galaxy j5 family so let's get into the video right after the intro all right click the first link in the description below and you will come to this page and then here are all the supported variants of this rom this rom is not only for the galaxy j5 you can also install it on the galaxy a3 a5 and some other models of the galaxy j5 my model is smj 500h and if you scroll down you can see all the rom information and features the kernel images and it says there are no bugs but there is one bug in the recovery and you can actually choose between which bug you want so that's pretty interesting you can download using any of these two links i prefer google drive and also you need to make sure you have a TWRP recovery which supports the Aroma installer, the GApps Aroma installer. And that is why I recommend you to update your TWRP recovery. Mine is SMJ500H so I'm going to choose that. And just click any link. And then if you click on the link you will come to this page and you can click any of this to download the dwrp recovery i prefer the latest version which is 3.5.2 at the time of making this video so i have already installed the dwrp recovery on my phone so i'm not going to do that if you don't know how to install dwrp recovery i have made a video on how to install i will leave the link in the description there all right once that is done you need to download the rom and then you need to copy the rom to your phone's sd card so I have connected my Galaxy J5 and also I have skipped the copying process just to save some time. So here is the ROM as experience. So let's go to the phone and install this ROM. Alright, first off switch off your phone and then press and hold the volume up button, the home button and the power button simultaneously to boot into the recovery mode. And once it says recovery on the top left corner, you can let go of the buttons. Alright, first up, what you need to do is wipe the phone completely. So select wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalby data, internal storage, cache system, and then swipe to wipe. Next, click back and go to home, select reboot the recovery and then swipe to reboot. Once the phone is rebooted back into the recovery, you need to select install and then browse the S experience zip file so mine is on the SD card S experience and here it is select it and then swipe to confirm the flash and now the aroma installer is going to start and you can customize whatever you want or whatever you don't want and all that stuff so yeah it's starting up first up click next and then if you want you can read all the disclaimer and then check this box and then click next select next again select next and here you can choose the modifications you need so the boot animation i want the amulet black which is the default and the edge screen feature i don't want that because this is not a edge mobile this is just flat screen and the samsung applications i want the game tools game optimizing service smart manager and that's it in the system UI section, if you can choose if you want the navigation bar, you will see some three buttons on the screen. And then here for the sound, you can choose the dual speaker mod. The dual speaker mod is when you play the sound, it comes from the back speaker and also from the earpiece speaker. And then one UI audio, the ringtones and stuff. Yes, I want that. Like this, you can just customize your ROM. All right. After you have chosen whatever you want, you can click next. And then here let this be default don't change anything select next and then yes i want the samsung experience launcher if you want you can choose some other features adapt sound audio some like that and then after you have chosen what you want you can select next and then here you can choose which apps you want and which apps you don't want if you want you can choose whichever software you want or don't want after you have done that select next this may not only applies to galaxy a series users if you have a galaxy j5 you can just choose anything you want and then select next and then here i highly recommend you to check all the three select next and that's it select next and now this will install the rom now you need to wait Alright, once everything is done, select next and if you want you can 
check that box or you can reboot the device later using the TWRP recovery tools. So I'm going to reboot the system right now, select next and now it's going to reboot the phone. Now it might actually reboot back into the recovery again as you can see it's booting back into the recovery. You can just select reboot and then select system and now it's going to reboot into the system and now it's going to reboot into the OS. Alright, here we are greeted with the welcome screen. Now you just need to set up your phone like you just got a new phone. And now here we have the 7.1.1 ROM which was ported from the Galaxy A8. And we have upgraded the Android version to Android 7. And I highly recommend you this ROM guys, it's very smooth, no lags and as you can see we are at Android 7.1.1 and as I was saying and as I was saying this ROM is completely smooth, no lags at all. I highly recommend you to try this ROM. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.